Hello students, welcome you all. Now we are going to see how to detect human faces using Python and OpenCV. Now we have created a Python file, facerecord.py. We are going to import the CV2 library. Import CV2. We need to download the hair cascade rental face default XML file from the internet. I have given the download link in the description. You can download this file. Hair cascade frontal face underscore default dot XML. So download this file and we need to put the file in our folder, project folder. So this is our file. I have downloaded and saved in this folder. We need to create a object for this algorithm. I am going to give you a name face cascade. CV2 dot cascade classifier. In this function, we need to pass the file name. This file name, type the name. XML. Now we have created our face cascade object. We are going to start our webcam. Webcam is equal to cv2 dot video capture of zero. I have only one webcam, so I am giving zero. If you have more than one webcam and if you want to specify some other webcam, you have to give 0, 1, 2 like that to capture your webcam. While true, now if we capture the webcam successfully, then we will be in this place. Here we need to capture the image from the webcam. For that, we are going to use webcam.read function. So this is the webcam object. You are, we are going to use the read function to capture from the webcam. This function will give two values. We need the image. The first value and the second one is the image we required. So first one we don't want so uh, I am just giving an underscore and the second one is our image. So we are capturing the image from the webcam and store it in the img variable. Now we are going to show the camera cv2 dot im show. This function we can show the camera. We are going to give you a title for this. Face detection. And we are going to pass the image. We need to close the form if we don't want this window. For that we need to have a wait key function. Key is equal to cv2 dot wait key 10 we are asking the cv2 to wait for 10 milliseconds for any key if any key is pressed then it will be stored in the key variable now we are going to check the key variable if key is equal to 27 that means escape key if we have pressed the escape key then we will be the loop will get break then we will not see the window after that we need to release the webcam 
webcam dot release then we need to close all the windows cv2 dot destroy all the windows now we have our code to capture the camera image and showing the camera image in the frame now i'm going to run this file save this program now we can see our webcam to exit the webcam we have to press escape now the webcam is closed we are going to check is there any face in the webcam we are going to use the image we are going to analyze the image if there is any face in the image for that first we need to convert the image to grayscale grayscale means black and white image i am going to create an object called gray is equal to i am going to use the function cvt color in cv2 dot cvt color this function we can use to convert from color image to black and white image first i am going to pass the image object img then i am going to pass the conversion type cv2 dot color underscore pgr to gray now we have our gray image here we are going to detect any faces in this gray image we are going to use a function called detect multi scale faces equal to this is the variable name face cascade this is the object we have created using the cascade classifier dot detect multi scale detect multi scale in this function we are going to pass our gray image comma then we need to pass the scaling factor i am giving 1.5 you can give little bit higher or lower than 1.6 1.7 or 1.4 1.3 like that to get the accurate face detection comma neighbors 4 now we have a variable called faces in this faces we can collect all the faces available in the captured image there may be more than one faces all the faces will be stored in the faces object from this faces we are going to draw a rectangle for the captured face to draw a rectangle i am going to use a for loop for x comma y comma w comma h these are the four values we will be getting from this faces variable this function will give all the faces captured using the starting point top left corner of the face and the width and height of the face we can get these four values for all the faces captured using this detect multi scale function so now we are going to show only one face so i am going to draw a rectangle for the face cv2 dot rectangle in this we are going to pass the image we don't need to pass the gray image because we need to pass the rectangle we need to draw the rectangle for the face that is captured image img comma the top left corner of the image that we have x comma y x comma y and bottom right corner of the image that is x plus width comma y plus height 
then we are going to pass the color of the line rectangular line for that i am going to pass green 0 comma 255 comma 0 red 0 green 255 and blue will be 0 so we will be automatically getting the green color and the line size i am going to give 3 the thickness of the line size is 3 now we have our rectangle for the image so we need to show the i am show after this capturing and all so i am show after the for loop then only we can see the rectangles in the image if this function is in this place we will not see any rectangle drawn rectangle in the uh, video so save this program and run this program now we can see our camera i am going to show my window it will uh, draw a rectangle for my face now you can see this camera captures is drawn with the rectangle for my face now i am going to press escape to close this window now we have successfully directed the face using the open cv library you try this yourself and write your doubts in the comment section i will answer for your doubts if you like this video please press the like button and if you think this video is going to be useful for your friends please share this video for your friends if you want more videos like this please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon for getting immediate notification about any video we are going to post thank you for watching have a nice day